Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, Lonesome Glory, and it is time to talk about part two of the Briar Fest 2023 Driving Forward Special Runs. So let's get started. Just like the last video we did where I talked about some of the special runs that Briar had let us know about at that point in time, I'm going to talk about all of the newest uh, sneak peeks that they have given us while I unbox a number of <laughs> models that have kind of been piling up around here. I know in these boxes I have a uh, Bolnero, the web special, a couple of the birds, uh, the web special bird models, and somewhere hiding here there is a resin that I bought and I'm a little excited to show you guys. So I'm going to start opening and I'm going to start with chatting about the remainder of the special run models for three day ticket holders. So at the, <laughs> by the time I got the last video out to you guys, Briar had done another sneak peek, but I didn't have time to add him to the video. So we'll talk about him today. That is Namia. Namia is a Galloping the Akaltiki is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful mold. And they have um, put it together as the decorator for this year. And I've got to say, and I keep saying it on this channel and then buying more decorators, so maybe I'm just lying to myself. I'm not a decorator person. <laughs> I try to stick to realistic uh, horses and colors. But I love that Akaltiki mold, and I love what they've done with it. It... Um, Initially when it came out, it reminded me of, I think the horse was called Pharaoh from many Briar Fests ago on the sham mold. And then uh, there was a raffle model from a couple years ago on the um, Marwari mold that looks really similar to this one. So I, I can't claim at all to be upset about it because I loved the, um, the auction model that it looks like this is based on. So he's really cool. I'm going to try and get one. By the way, I'm opening, uh, this is Flamingo, the uh, birds series that Briar is doing. So Namia is going to be available, it looks like, only in person. I didn't see any of the online uh, qualifiers with it. So anyway, it's really cool. And I think that Briar did a really good job kind of making it look old and new at the same time, if that makes any kind of sense. <laughs> Um, they also shared with us the logo for the surprise model. Of course, we have no idea what the surprise model is going to be, which is fine. Um, I'll probably do a video to talk about that all on its own later on. It is the uh, Stagecoach Surprise. And all we really know is that it's the surprise model and it'll be available both in person and online. Then we got, and I, I'm probably going out of order with when Briar did the sneak peeks on these. I just have a list um, over to the side that I can look at that reminds me of which ones to talk about. So the next one I'm going to talk about is Wells. By the way, here's Flamingo. You can kind of see both sides of her. She's beautiful. So Wells is the Shannon Dell mold in, uh, it looks like a really nicely shaded gray. It is noted that he'll be available to online ticket holders, which is cool. And um, I I love the Shannon Dell mold, so I'm going to try and get my hands on one of those as well. I keep ending my discussion of these um, special runs with something like, I'm going to try and get my hands on them, or... I'm going to put these down as uh, on my VIP ticket or any of that. The problem I'm having this year is that Briar kind of knocked it out of the park with the runs. At least as far as things that I am exceptionally interested in are concerned. So there's a lot of these that I like. Um, there's very few of them really that I don't. Which means that Briar Fest for me is going to be a little <laughs> damaging to the pocketbook. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so we talked about Wells. Uh, I'm going to move on to Scurry. Scurry is pretty close to being my favorite along with the donkey. Um, it is the Emma 
mold or the, I don't remember what they're calling it, the fell pony mold maybe. Anyway, it's a beautiful Tobiano. It looks fantastic. They haven't used that mold for too much, so I'm pretty excited to get to see it just in another color available. All right, I think that leads us to the last of the regular uh, line of models you have to have a three-day ticket for, and that is one they've called Jump and Drive. Um, I'll tell you, the only thing I don't like about this model is the name. Um, it seems like a bit of a cop-out. Oh, this is the narrow. I have, I have two of these. I bought one for me and one to make sure that a friend could get one. So you'll see another one at some point when I find that box. Um, the Jump and Drive is on the uh, Bristol mold, the uh, big jumping horse mold. The color, I'm not 100% sure what to call it. And my guess is, is that Briar had a color description initially when they released him, and I didn't pay attention to it. I was too busy looking at the picture. So here's Planero. Um, anyway, he's it's a pinto of some variety. He's got a lot of different, uh, different shading to him. So he's kind of an interesting color, but I really like the mold, so I'm looking forward to that. Then we have the... I'm not 100% sure what Briar is calling these now. Maybe just limited editions. Um, they used to be the pop-up shop models. And then they've changed what they're calling them. So now they're just limited editions, I think. And we, I think I already talked about Delft, uh, the blue horse with the pottery. If I didn't, he has been um, announced. It's the classic decorator for this year. He's pretty cute. So I'm really interested to see him in person. They also told us about the crystal for this year, which I am pretty excited about. I love the crystals. Uh, this one is called Phaeton. Phaeton, maybe. Um, it's a type of wagon. There. Really sticking to the theme with the names, if nothing else. <laughs> um, but this one is a crystal version of the Rejoice mold. So it's, or at least I'm pretty sure the Rejoice, it might be the Calliope mold um, from the original porcelain Calliope. It looks to me like it could go either way. And again, that's probably in the description that I probably should have looked at before I started this video, but sorry. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's, it is a, a national show horse, very kind of tight. Oh, here's my other Bolero. Okay. So very pretty. I definitely want one of those. Um, I'm only missing like one of the crystals. So I would like to keep the, the collection going. And then they announced <laughs> they're, they're really this year. Briar is trying to break anyone who collects draft horses, at least if you ask me, because one of the other horses, the limited edition, is called Tilly. Uh, her technical name, I believe, is FVA's Grand Design. And Tilly got her portrait model on the incomparable Winter Song. Uh, she's lovely. It's a, it looks like more of a, a chestnutty color or a liver chestnut. Um, she does have, it looks like, flax and mane and tail and some pinto markings, maybe Sabino there. I, but I think she's great. Um, it's not a color that we've seen on um, Winter Song, really. So that's kind of nice to have a different color. Uh, they seems like recently they've had a lot of grays or gray pintos. So I'm looking forward to that one. I can't recall offhand if she's one of the ones I selected for my VIP ticket, but <laughs> but I will be trying to get one with um, just being there in person. So there's, I think, two or three other limited editions I haven't talked about. Um, the first one is a set. It is the Stablemate Best of Briarfest collection. This is a salute to 2013. So they're going back and doing like a, a decade in review. So 10 years ago. The fun part is, is 10 years ago, I was at Briarfest 
and I remember seeing all of the models that they have in this set. Um, they've done minis of um, the volunteer model, the um, show prizes, um, one of the raffle models, and they did an exact mini of the diorama contest Tennessee walking horse. So their, their names are Liverpool, Singletree, Hames, Whippletree, and Landau. And if I did this right, there will be pictures popping up with each of those. Hames is the mini Tennessee walker, and or not Tennessee walker, Missouri Foxtrotter. And the cool thing about it is at Briarfest that year, um, my dad entered the uh, diorama contest. It That year it was, I think that was the Walk of Fame year where you did um, minis of celebrities, movie stars, that kind of thing. Um, anyway, dad's was a miniature of, these are the Stable Mate Club models, by the way, that's what I'm working on, trying to get open. Um, anyway, it was a miniature of Reba McIntyre in her red fancy dress, and he was very proud of it, as well he should have been, because we won. Uh, he won the full size of the Tennessee Walker, and right now would normally be the time where I'd be like, oh, let me show her to you. Um, unfortunately, she is one of the ones that I've sold over the years. Um, I, I can't remember if I traded her or sold her, but since I don't really collect the Missouri Foxtrotter mold, I was able to get something that I liked a little better. Um, all with dad's permission. He, he was still here then and he was all for trading it for something else. So that said, I am really glad and I want to get a set of these. So I have the little mini just kind of as a reminder. Um... Anyway, those are, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this little guy. There you go. There's the mini. So those are the limited editions um, for Briarfest, except for one. And I'm a little excited about this. If you guys watched the last video, which if you haven't, please watch it. Um, I would appreciate it. And it certainly helps me out to know that I should keep making these videos. <laughs> Um, but if you watched the last video, I mentioned that Briar hadn't announced the plush yet and that I thought it would be really cute if they did like the kind of typical pal plush that we're used to seeing, but they put him in jockey silks. Well, they did. It was exactly what they did. I was so excited when I saw him come out. He's of course in Briar blue and yellow silks. Here's the mare. Um, and they've named him Sulky, which is really cute. So anyway, I, um, I guess all of that is to say, you know, ha, I called something. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and I, I really do think that he's adorable. So I'll probably try and get my hands on him as well. This year they did two uh, online only special runs. One of them is probably the only model so far that I'm not going to try and get. And I don't say that like it's a bad thing. I'm actually kind of glad. I wish a few more of them were in that list. Um, but his name is, or her name I suppose is Studebaker. Studebaker is on the Endurance Arabian or the, the Trotting Arabian Mold, not Weather Girl. And um, it's a lovely Palomino Pinto. And I am a sucker for Palomino Pintos. So I'm kind of glad they picked this mold. It means that I'm less inclined to try and get my hands on her. Um, and that's just one, one less thing that I have to worry about. I do like the stable mate that they did for online only. His name is Buggy. He's a leopard Appaloosa on the Django mold. So I'm looking forward to that one. I will try and grab that. Um, just because he's, you know, adorable. <laughs> So, what do we move on to next? So Briar did something this year that they haven't done before. And, I'm, am I opening this on the wrong side? Yeah, I, oh well. Anyway, um, they did something different this year and they let us know what the volunteer model is before the second day of Briarfest. Usually we don't find that out until Briarfest weekend. 
And part of the reason they did that is because they used the same ball and tear model for Briar West as they're going to use for Briar Fest. Um, given how the number of volunteers has expanded in recent years, I don't have a problem with this. And I do think what they did is kind of cool. They did one model, but two colorways. So it is the Croy mold. Um, it is, it looks like kind of a sooty, I probably should be called some version of a bay, but it looks awfully gray to me. And a red bay uh, blanket Appaloosa and volunteers don't know which one they're going to get. So Briar, Briar's taken that gambler's choice thing as far as they can. I am sure it has a name. I looked when they announced him on uh, social media during Briar West week and I did not see the name. I probably overlooked it. If they've announced it and somebody has the name, I would really appreciate you letting me know in the comments. Um, because offhand right now, all I know is that it's the volunteer model on the Croy mold. So, the only other models that they have uh, released, as of right now, it's entirely possible that they'll announce three more before you see this video. <laughs> but as of the time of me sitting here and talking, this is Magpie. Uh, there are two others. They've announced the best customs contest prize models. So the, the overall, the, um, I guess champion is what they call it. Maybe first place. I don't know. The, the big one is the forever sage mold in it's the original forever sage Appaloosa pattern, but it is a beautiful red chestnut. And I'm not going to lie. I wish they had used that instead of the gray that they did for the initial run, but you know, they didn't. So he's really blue. Look at those guys. Looks so cool. Uh, the other one that they have, um, they've announced is the finalists stablemate for the best custom contest. It's on the Endurance Arabian stablemate. I believe it is in the original uh, color or the original pattern. And it is the same color as um, the grand prize model, um, which is named Kansas, by the way. Um, it is called Willamette, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I actually did see someone on one of the social medias, knew where it was, lived there, told us all the correct pronunciation, and I promptly forgot what it, which one it was. So I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sure, but it's super cute and um, will be a really cool prize for people who are able to enter that contest. So that's all of the, we're down to the resin now, that is all of the special runs and models and everything else that Briar has told us about. So the only other uh, reveals that Briar has done for us are of the swag boxes for VIP ticket holders. There are packing peanuts in my box. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to make a huge mess trying to open this one. So they've, they've showed us everything that's in there. There is a cooler bag and a, one or two uh, picnic blankets. There's, I think, stickers and pins and all kinds of stuff. And I'm pretty excited to get that. Uh, it's a nice little added value. It's a nice little added value to the VIP tickets. I do have a VIP ticket. Um, I bought one. I will buy the rest of mine will just be regular. Oh my God, he's so tiny. This is the teensy tiny auto. And I got it from a lovely person online. I'm very excited. It is literally the size of my thumb. It's great. <laughs> Anyway, I will go back and figure out what I did for sure uh, select as my VIP models, and we'll talk about those in another video. Uh, for now, I have opened everything. I have all kinds of tiny horses and big horses here that I now have to find space for on the shelves. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know which of the part two uh, special run reveals are your favorite and let me know which models you guys got if you did get a VIP ticket. 
otherwise, I will see you all in the next video. I am working on some more Briarfest related videos, um, but we all know that I uh, am a little slow about getting stuff out. So if you have an idea for something you would like to see in a video, let me know. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and commenting and all of that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye.